Hey everybody, today we're going to uh, look at using OneDrive to upload files. Um, this is so you can then send them, um, or you can maybe um, send them from your home computer to access at, at your computer in school. Um, and it's really very straightforward. I am using a Mac, but the website looks the same on um, any device or any browser that you use. So it all, it all applies. So to begin with, uh, when you um, log in to OneDrive. If you go to office.com, log in there and there'll be a blue cloud option for OneDrive. And this is what um, this is what it looks like. So you will see uh, logging in all your files that you access on your own computers at school um, and you work on and you can also um, kind of edit them and use online versions of um, Word and PowerPoint and all that. But today what we're interested in is creating a new folder, uploading files to that folder and then sharing that folder with another person. So along the top of the screen here, we've got um, our options to be able to do these different things. And on the left-hand side, we have new with a plus and a drop down. If we tap that, it'll give us a list of things that we can do. For today's demonstration, we're gonna create a new folder and then it'll ask you to create a name for your folder. So I'm gonna give this a name. We're gonna call it bag shoot um, demo. And then we're gonna click create. That will create the folder for us, and you'll see these blue little whiskers that um, appear next to uh, next to that folder. That tells me this is a new item in my uh, OneDrive. So if I tap on that, we'll go into it, and as you can see, it's currently empty. You can drag and drop your files straight into the browser window, and it will upload them, or you can do it this way, which is the way I'm going to show you. So if at the top here, where we have an upload option, if we tap that. We can then select files. Folders isn't always available to upload. Um, it's only certain types of browser that can do that. But for the moment, that doesn't matter. We're just going to go upload files, and then your uh, your computer navigator will kind of open up this uh, this for you. So here's some uh, some images I've been using to create demonstration videos for Year Nine. So if I kind of um, tap into here, and then you'll see all these uh, files and images that I've been using for my demo. Um, if I then was to select all of those, so to just really quickly and easily select all of these, I'm pressing Command A on a Mac keyboard or Control A on a Windows keyboard, and it's going to select everything that's in that folder. And then I'm going to click Open, and it will start to upload those items for me. So as we see here on the right hand side, it will upload those depending on your internet speed um, uh, and the number of images and how big those images and files are depends on how quickly they will upload. We can do the next bit before all the uploads are finished so we don't have to sit here and wait for them all to finish, um, which is at the top of the screen here, we have a share option with a blue arrow coming out of the box. If we tap that, it will open up um, a sharing window. And I'm just gonna share this with myself just because it makes life easier. You start entering the email address and it will show up there for you. And then we tap or click send. It's as simple as that, and that will share the link to the folder with whoever you are wanting to have access to that, and then uh, you can kind of that that person can then work with it. So, how this is useful in photography at the moment is uh, where we're presently closed and not in school. Um, you may need to have contact sheets to include in your coursework. So you can do this by uploading your photos using your computer up to the OneDrive, share that folder with me, I will make your contact sheets and send them back to you. If you can make your contact sheets yourselves, if you've got Photoshop yourselves at home, then um, that's fine, please do carry on with that. But if you do need me to make them for you at this time, that's absolutely fine. So if you do have any questions on how to use this, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, or if you have other videos that you'd like me to make to show you how to do different things, whether it's Office 365 or Pixlr based, um, then please just drop me an email and I will uh, I'll make a video for you. Thanks.